Easter eggs are secrets hidden within video games, usually by the developers of the game. More often than not, as a little joke or reference to pop culture or another game entirely. And sometimes there are not of acknowledgement to the diehard players that like to look into every minute detail of the game they're playing. However, not all Easter eggs are lighthearted jokes. Many games over the decades have unnerving secrets hidden within their files. Eerie photos of demonic entities or locations with an ominous atmosphere. Some are more chilling than others. So sit back, relax, and get cozy because we're going to take a look into a few of the creepiest Easter eggs hidden in video games. Sonic CD Creepy Image Code Sonic is a colorful, lighthearted video game franchise about a blue hedgehog and his need for speed. Sonic's popularity has risen over the years since his initial debut on his first game on the Sega Genesis, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic is loved far and wide, from his homeland in Japan over to the United States. Sonic is adored all over the world. With Sonic fans that are, uh, well... Uh, some are more stranger than the others, but for the most part, there are Sonic fans that are just like me and you. Like my girlfriend's brother, or like my good friend Ty Records, who also has his own YouTube channel you should totally check out and let him know I sent you. However, despite having his own television series, Sonic doesn't have that appealing family-friendly content we believe he does. The Sonic franchise has one of the creepiest easter eggs known in video game history. It's to the point that some people believe this easter egg wasn't added by an average video game developer. Rather, even an average video game developer at all. Let's take a look at Sonic 3D. Arguably the third best Sonic game behind Sonic Heroes and... Sonic CD was the first Sonic game that had me looking at the cover and thinking, geez, this has got to be a good game. And it was. There was just something so captivating about the Metal Sonic character that had me hooked. When you first start the game, players can find an option called Sound Test that they've unlocked after completing all the special stages in under four minutes. Or they were lazy and decided to use a cheat code that I will now give to you. Down, 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 left, right. You put this in at the main menu and boom. Sound test mode is unlocked. You can use the sound test mode and input a series of numbers and find a few secrets that were hidden in the game by some of the developers. If you enter the code 1211, you will be greeted by a cute picture of Tails saying, see you in the next game. All right, before we get to this next one, I would advise you, you gotta be ready to brace yourself because this picture just goes way too hard, man. If you enter 421, the day after Thanksgiving, for pot smokers, you will witness the greatest art of Sonic on this planet. Am I the only one that thinks this looks a lot like Batman? No, seriously, now, th picture this, picture this. Imagine a Sonic the Hedgehog game with the gameplay and mood of Batman Arkham Knight, okay? That would just be amazing. Numbers one and one will show you a cute little Sonic. Seven and seven allows you to play a special secret stage. And let me address this now. This level is most definitely a secret, but it's definitely not special. You play as Tails, and you're running around a landscape that, that kind of reminds me of a map that may or may not have been in Super Mario Kart, and you're jumping into these robot guys flying on screen and collecting coins and causing explosions. Also, Dr. Eggman watches your every move, just in case you haven't already noticed his face taking up the entire space in the sky. And if things haven't already seemed unsettling enough, We've barely hit the iceberg. If you enter the code 1225, the most unnerving thing takes up your screen. A creepy image of some sort of demented Sonic with very unnerving music in the background that doesn't make this any better at all. There's also a message written towards the bottom of the screen in Japanese. When translated, the message reads, Fun is infinite. Sega Enterprises. Signed, Majin. Majin means devil or demon in Japanese. Now pair that together with the creepy sonics and laughing in the background, and things start to get real scary. Could it be that a developer that was working on this game was a satanic worshipper, and they added this to the game as more than a little easter egg, and was actually to show their appreciation for the devil? Or could it be that the devil himself added this to the game as a way to show anyone that went looking his presence? Why does it gotta be the code that shares the same numbers as Christmas, though? Why do all bad things have to happen on Christmas? Payday, no mercy witch. Welcome to the world of Payday. You can rob a bank, take innocent lives, and make millions. Majority of it will be put into an offshore account, and you won't be able to touch it. But hey, at least you can't get caught. And if you did, it's just a video game. And you wouldn't think about committing the atrocities you commit in said game in real life, right? 
right? Payday has a lot, and I mean a lot, of heists. Some of which are stranger than others. But for the most part, they all come back to the same ideal. Steal this stuff so the boss man can get paid, and if the boss man gets paid, we get paid. However, there is one heist that if you're in the know-how about what it is you're stealing, the more you realize it would be in the entire world's best interest that you don't steal what exactly you're about to take. In Payday the Heist and Payday 2, there is a level that you can play called No Mercy. This map takes place in a hospital and your main objective is to steal a blood sample from one of the patients. Simple, right? Wrong! You see, if you're familiar with the game Left 4 Dead, you would recognize that the hospital you're currently rummaging is the Mercy Hospital that features in the hospital map level on none other than the No Mercy campaign. And the thing you're rummaging for is actually the blood sample to patient zero. Yes, the same patient that is responsible for spreading the green flu virus and that is turning everyone into zombies. But we don't care because money earned is money spent and oh boy are things expensive. Alongside this map being one big reference to the Left 4 Dead series, there is one more easter egg that can be found inside this map as well. While you're defending from a full on offensive onslaught by the police, you may notice through all the gunfire and bullets flying by that the lights may flicker. On the second flicker of the lights, you might even notice the faint crying coming from one of the rooms. If you manage to trace the crying back to the correct room, you'll notice a mysterious figure sitting in the room. Nintendo is pretty well known by their consoles and video game classics they delivered to us for well over 30 years. However, it's safe to say they're also known for all the accessories they've created for their games as well, like the NES Zapper or the Power Glove. They've also developed a long list of accessories for their handheld systems as well. If anything, they doubled the list for console accessories when it came to accessories for handhelds. They've got your simple necessities like a screen protector and a case. They've also got wires to connect to your game system, another wire to connect to players on the same system, a battery that'll keep your system from dying faster, and cool styluses. But we've also got a lot of junk that you wouldn't even think of to use since there are already arguably better alternatives to achieve whatever it is you wanted and most of them is just like, who would even use this? Like the Game Boy Radio and the Petty Sedate? Honestly, I can see why you might use your Game Boy as a radio. Alright, that one's kind of cool. But to sedate children? I would love to meet the doctor that was like, uh, yeah, we're gonna use this Game Boy to sedate your child. This thing also looks like some obscure medieval torture device. The Petty Sedate System was an add-on designed to calm children before potentially traumatic experiences like the dentist or a hospital operation. A dose of nitrous oxide, better known as laughing gas or nitro, was administered for this purpose. That was the aim anyway. Who the hell thought this was a good idea? I did think the camera was a good one though. You did right by the camera Nintendo, so in fact that you decided to bring it back for the Nintendo DSi. Might I add, is the best non-jailbroken handheld device. I mean, were you around for the glory days of Flipnote Studio? The Game Boy camera was just that. A Game Boy for your camera. Uh, wait, 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 I mean a camera for your Game Boy. There isn't much to do on game other than take pictures. Although this is a camera game for a camera accessory, did you expect something otherwise? Oh, you, you could also print out the pictures with the Game Boy printer but it's sold separate. Well, lucky for you, there are a few games that are built into the game as some good old extra content you could try out. The games are very reminiscent of WarioWare games to the extent that they're just mini games. In one game in particular that plays similar to a JRPG, there were turn-based attacks and a run option similar to the game Pokemon. However, unlike Pokemon, when you choose the option to run, you aren't given a failure prompt as you would expect. Instead, you're greeted with one of many screens alike when I first researched this topic years ago, I had only found two photos. But now it seems there are many more, and each one more creepier than the other. There is also a message at the top of the photo asking you, who are you running from? According to the community, these photos actually belong to developers of the game that they edited in the in-game photo editor. Why they decided to make it so creepy, I have no idea. But the question remains unanswered. 